I'm Mike, N2MAK, and I just finished building the Mercury Link Dipole by Coffee and Ham Radios. I'm really excited about this build because it's my first Link Dipole, and honestly, I, I don't use dipoles all that often. Uh, I do a lot of parks on the air and some soda, and I've primarily used NFED half waves, random wires, or verticals. Uh, so I'm really excited to get this antenna on the air and see what it can do. When I was building it, it was pretty straightforward. Uh, however, once everything was all put together, I noticed that the SWR on 20 was a bit off from where it was initially tuning at. Uh, it was getting a lot closer to 2.0 to 1 near the higher end of the 20 meter band. Turns out that the, the links for the dipole um, where it connects 20 to 40 meters, when they're hanging down loose, the SWR is a lot higher than if they are folded back with the, the wire itself. I initially tried some electrical tape and all of a sudden the SWR was much better. I don't want to keep using electrical tape, uh, you know, putting it on, taking it off the wire in the field. So I came up with a simple fix and it's just a plain old bread tie. Yeah, you know, the ties at the end of the bags, you know, for bread and other kinds of delicious carbs. Um, I just snipped one of these in half and uh, and used it to tie up the, um, the links that weren't in use. Uh, put the antenna back up in the air and boom, the SWR was back where it originally was, is perfect, spot on. Um, I had a feeling that something was off with, with, with the link and I don't know if they're interacting with each other because they're, 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 they're close or if it's something more complicated with having to be folded back on itself, linear loading, I don't know. But uh, I put the dipole up this morning first thing at 20 meters and, uh, and I didn't have the 40 meter legs on and it was perfect. Um, but the minute I put the 40 meter legs on, 20 meters, the SWR was off again. So I suspected something was going on with where the links were and uh, glad I was able to come up with a simple solution. Well, I, the bread I, ties work for the 20 meter link. They have the exact opposite effect on the 10 meter link. If I use them there, the SWR on 10 meters actually increases. Go figure. I'm not sure why that happened. Uh, it is what it is, but that's why we mess around and find out. If, if somebody has an, an, an idea of what might be going on there, by all means, please uh, leave a comment down below. All right, you might have noticed that I'm actually using different connectors than what came with the uh, antenna kit. I had these bullet connectors from another antenna project, a linked Rybakov antenna that I did. Uh, I did try using the connectors that came with the kit, but crimping ain't easy and some mistakes were made. So I had these laying around and uh, they seem to be working out just fine. Looking forward to getting this out in the field, doing a Parks on the Air activation. Big thank you to the guys at uh, Coffee and Ham Radios. You put together an awesome, awesome antenna. The winder is just unbelievable. Here's a quick look at the uh, ham wagon with all the gear packed in it. Um, this is actually a Father's Day gift a couple years ago after I first got licensed and got into POTA and uh, it's one of those collapsible wagons. It works out really well. I got the uh, ICOM 705 bag in there, uh, table, chair, mast, uh, mast support. Um, you get, a, get quite a bit of gear in there and it, it works well whether it's just uh, in the grass or I've, I've used it uh, for hiking activations going into the woods. Uh, definitely recommend something like this if you're doing portable operations. Alright, let's take a uh, quick look at the setup here. Using the Cartena's Mercury linked dipole. Just built that the other day. Got it set for 40 meters. That's about 20 feet up on the Soda Beams Tactical 7000 HDS mast. Uh, prototype of the Papa base is holding it up. I uh, got a review on that coming out shortly. And then for the radio, we got the ICOM 705. We'll be running that at just one watt. And of course, the uh, Coffee and Ham Radios mug. All right, we got the power set to one watt. Let's check the SWR. There we go. Really, really good SWR. This I'm really excited to see what this antenna can do.
I got a feeling I'll be using this function most CQ of the uh, CQ Poda, activation. CQ Poda, this is November 2, Mike Alpha Kilo calling it's nice CQ to have, though. On the air, standing by for any stations anywhere. November 2, Bravo Tango Delta. Brian, good to get you in the log again. It's been a while. I'm running just one watt. How does this sound? Yeah, good to hear you out there, Mike. I hope all is well with you and the family. 5555 in Southern New York. Roger. Whiskey A, Julia Delta Echo. Roger, Roger, you are 5555, Michigan. Hey, Roger, Roger, Mike, it's QA Charlie 1, Quebec Delta Zoo, Queen Dog Zanzibar, QSL. Roger, Roger, 56 both ways, I can hear you here in Rhode Island, Romeo, India, go ahead. Hey, this is doing an awesome job for you, my friend. Great signal from 1 watt, holy macro. Have fun out there, and good luck, 7 3. Kilo, Dog 3. Sierra Bravo Tango, QSL. Roger, Roger. I have you about a 4-5, 4-5, Kilo 7761, QSL. Yeah, Whiskey Zero, Delta, Romeo Bravo, QSL. Hey, Roger, Roger. Uh, you're uh, about a 5555 five, uh, here in Iowa, QSL. Uh, Whiskey Zero, Oscar X-Ray Bravo, Dave in Minnesota. You're 3333. Three, three. 3-3, Michael, QSL. Whiskey, India, 4 Golf. QSL, beautiful for a 1-1. Nice, nice signal. Going to give 10 meters a try. Uh, we've done 40 and 20 so far. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda. This is November 2, Mike Alpha Kilo calling CQ for Parks on the Air. Standing by for any stations anywhere. All right, that'll do it. Got 17 in the log in one hour. Started off on 40 meters and got 13 contacts in about a half hour. Switched to uh, 20 meters, operated there for about 20 minutes or so, got four contacts. It was a little bit tougher. I had uh, some QRM from adjacent stations that moved in on me. And then, just because, gave 10 meters a shot at the end for about the last 5-10 minutes. Uh, nothing heard there, but uh, at least worth giving it a shot. So this was a lot of fun. It, it was neat to uh, do the the one watt challenge and uh, see what I could do. Uh, certainly wasn't expecting to get as many as I did, uh, but but 40 was was definitely uh, working well, and uh, even got out there on uh, on 20 meters with just one watt. Uh, so far, real happy with the uh, car antenna. Uh, definitely recommend it. If you haven't yet, definitely uh, check out uh, their website. Uh, they, in, in addition to the link dipole, they got a random wire, um, an NFED half wave, and some other gear. So uh, I'll leave a link down below. Uh, check out Coffee and Ham Radios. And uh, if you haven't yet, click like, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I'm Mike, N2MAK, 73.